Now we are heading towards a very important topic that is evaluation and risk models. We are going to quantify our risk methodologies and management. This uh, book is really interesting. It's as full of uh, uh, valuation methods, starting from how we quantify volatility, the fluctuation and changes in the value at risk models. Moving forward, how we put VAR at the real work, like JP Morgan started this, and how they are calculating, and what other stuff we need to know in order to make it effective in the workplace. Uh, what are the measure of financial risk, like uh, related to money matters in terms of financials? So, this is what we will discuss binomial tree concept where you have a decision making arrangement so we will make trees and it will be an interesting exercise uh, we'll discuss this black shul merton model that is really very popular in the industry how it works we'll see the greek letters like gamma and other stuff uh, price discounts factors and arbitrate arbit discussion we have already done in terms of a apt arbitrate pricing model in terms of discounting in terms of time value of money these all we need to uh, discuss in detail today anything today in terms of rate is your spot today is a spot rate in future it will become a forward rate and what is a par rate so we will discuss the face value real value legal value uh, what is the concept of return spread and yield how we calculate um, yields holding period yield and related to time and related to returns in terms of accounting this is all is uh, covered here one factor risk matrix and hedges hedges i already explained in detail it's offsetting your risk against adverse price changes and by using a concept of a matrix where you have rows and columns where you have more ability to have a decision so what are those i will explain here then we will take multi factors where you where only not one factor a lot of more factor is creating risk risk and how to manage that this is in a multi-factor atmosphere this is really interesting and uh, very useful we'll see country risk country risk is very important because it can create a premium or a discount situation some countries they are really good their social structure and infrastructure and financial industry is mature they have transparency in operation and transactions so it are subject to less country risk but there are a lot of countries who are still inefficient uh, they their transactions are not clean their banking system and other systems are not efficient so it create an extra country risk risk for us so how to handle what are these determinants how we measure and what are the implications this is what is the scope of discussion we'll discuss external and internal ratings ratings uh, triple a triple b how to add rating how to reduce rating rating quarter wise monthly who are the rating agencies how they work how they rate what's their mechanism you know this is really important to understand capital structures in bank uh, we can discuss basel one two and now three uh, hard works what are the requirement by basel and uh, how much capital they need to maintain this is what is uh, in capital structures for banks operational risk are day to day when we say operational risk any risk that is into day to day transactions uh, we encounter because of uh, multiple factors what are those factors how it works this is we will discuss in detail stress testing is a very interesting term uh, generally when uh, we hire an employee uh, we you know give a little bit tough time 
uh, to check their nerves are strong. So I called it as stress testing. Sometimes we give our existing team more work and we want to see that how they work under stress conditions because stress, stress you can't avoid, it will come. Same way today if I'm lending to my client, market is very good, everyone is lending, we are also lending, but what if if the market will drop situation will get tight liquidity issue will arise then how things are financials are going to move this is stressed we will see stress testing for assets for uh, mortgages and for oh, i think stress testing is a very efficient tool in terms of theoretical concept and in terms of mathematical concepts how we do stress testing this is really important and it's very very practical then we will discuss the principle for sound stress testing practices and supervision what are these basic principles and how we are going to adopt these practices and what kind of supervision is required this is the scope of our discussion I will continue with the detailed discussion we will start with value at risk methods and we will see the concept of delta normal var how it works always uh, the method, statistical methods are always followed by a binomial distribution it's like a bell shape uh, distribution those who have a statistics background they can easily understand we have mean we have mode we have medium what are mean median mode this is uh, require a discussion and what is a bell shape distribution there are some basic terms we should know confidence intervals we'll check uh, these uh, distributions based on one uh, percent 5% and 10% and this is what I'm going to draw for you and we will go ahead with more uh, discussion about the binomial distribution which is leading towards certain kind of methods and analysis.